Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, know your value. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Seth Tim and Ali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't- Thank you for being here on the podcast. I love that you're, you're listening and watching the Game Changer Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button below. If you're listening on another platform, do me a huge favor go and give us a rating and a review. It means the world to me. Uh, Take a screenshot, tag me, and let me know that you're listening on social media. All right, you know, we just finished with the last Shield Maiden. Shield Maiden is our our women's business owner, right? Women business owner program. Been doing it for eight years. We've had hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds, and hundreds of women come through this very deep dive, intense training. And you know, you get these powerful women who are mothers and wives, and some of them are still young and single, all walks of life, all types of background and experience and history. And one of the biggest things that I noticed this past shield maiden, this last immersion, was that the women, again, like all of us, so I'm talking about the women, but I'm really talking about you. So you got to hear yourself through the story here, because this is not about them. This is about you listening. But people in general they forget their value. You know, they just, you you get all this experience and you have all this value to offer to the world and then you forget or you somehow shift the way that you see yourself. And, you know, this last week as we're going through immersion and these incredible women, right? Their their class name, every, every class names themselves. So we had True Colors, we had the BABs, we had uh, Zeta 23. I mean, every class, has, you know, 10 rise. This class was the final 14. Final 14, there's 14 women in this class. And I love it because the entire week, this voice kept coming to me as I'm, again, I'm coaching, I'm training, I'm speaking, I'm reaching into their heart and soul and I'm extracting as much that's in there that they have either buried suppressed and or have forgotten is there. They've just let it lay dormant. And the the thing that kept coming to me was like, know your value. Remember who you are. Know your worth. And it reminds me of a story that I heard about a young man whose father was about to pass away. So young man, right, meaning he's probably in his 40s because I'm a young man. I'm in my 40s. And his father hands him a watch and he says, hey, this watch belonged to your great-grandfather. It's been passed down and I'm giving it to you. He's like, and the watch was old and is like not working. He says, I want you to take this down to the jewelry store and see how much they will give you for it. So the young man goes down to the jewelry store and they, they're like, hey, we'll give you like $150. Comes back and, hey, dad, $150. Bucks. To which, you know, the father then replies, hey, son, go take it to the pawn shop and see what the pawn shop will give you for it. And he comes back from the pawn shop and he says, they, they said they'd give me like 10 bucks for it. He says, great. And I want you to go down to the, the museum. And the son's like, dad, th- this is not valuable. He says, son, just trust me. Go down to the museum, show them the timepiece and ask them how much they'll give you for it. So this man goes down to the museum, and it's amazing because he comes back and says, Dad, you'll never believe what happened. To which the father's like, tell me, son. He says, Dad, the curator down there says he'll give us a half a million dollars for this timepiece. It's like an antique, and it's rare, and it's valuable. And the moral of the story is that you cannot allow others to dictate your value when you know that you're valuable. Sometimes you get into the wrong circles. Sometimes you get around the wrong people. And then you have this vast knowledge and depth of experience and insane value to the world, to the marketplace. But because you're around the wrong people, like the jewelry store and like the pawn shop, you think you don't have value. That's what I see happen with a lot of women today. You know, they're like, oh, well, I'm just a mom. Like, what do you mean you're just a mom? You mean you, you carry this baby anywhere from seven to nine months, right? Baby came early. You're feeding this baby. You're giving this baby love and warmth. And if you're like some of the moms, you're, you're raising four, five, eight, ten kids. And you're supporting the husband. And for some of you, you're a single mom doing all of this. What? As I had to remind our ladies, like, don't ever. Don't ever say that you're just a mom. That's like someone saying, well, you know, I've got all this experience. I mean, like, look, who are you spending your time with right now? Who are you hanging out with right now? 
And one of the greatest ways to really know your value is to get around people who can help you to see it. That's typically not going to be the people that you grew up with because all they can see is the old you, the you that they know. And a lot of times as you grow and as you rise, it makes them very uncomfortable. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to me before. I grew up in Utah. I grew up in Utah County, went to high school, went to the college over there in Utah County. Have you ever wanted to change your mind, like really transform your mindset so you can get a different result? If you have and you have failed in doing so many other things, I invite you to join us for our two day in-person event. It's called Unstoppable Mindset. And that URL is you, the letter U, mind, M-I-N-D, live, L-I-V-E dot com, you, mind, live dot com. Once again, that is you, mind, live dot com. That is our two-day in-person event. Now, if you're like, Tim, I can't make it in person, guess what? We also have virtual tickets and nobody does virtual like us. Check that out right now, Unstoppable Mind, which is you, mind, live dot com. And people can only see the Polynesian guy that was a musician doing luau's and the football player and the mortgage guy. What they don't see is the journey that I've taken to grow and to expand and to increase my value to the marketplace. Now, intrinsically, we all have value. I grew up hearing a scripture that says the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. So yes, we all have value on this planet. And especially if you are someone who's on the path of growth and expansion, you get to choose the things that you do every single day to develop yourself, to build your belief, to enhance your courage, to deal with and to confront and to overcome and to act in spite of fear to go after your dreams, right? To go build the amazing fitness and healthy body, to deepen your spirituality, right? to create this purpose and of course to go make money and to build a lifestyle a means to contribute back. So I leave this podcast with you. So much gratitude, so much love to my final 14 sisters who came through this last week in Shield Maiden, the final class ever, the last dance. And as a reminder to all of you who are listening, like the timepiece, whoever you spend your time with, make sure that they know the value that you bring. Make sure that they are not tearing you down like crabs in a bucket. Sometimes this might mean finding new circles and finding new places to be around. And people will often say, well, September, how do I find those circles? You know, the way that I've done it is you write a check to go be in a mastermind. You go join a club. You go join a, a different place that has a barrier of entry that's not low. You know, when I talk about a mastermind, we have our, our circle of champions mastermind. And it's really not too expensive, you know. Uh, it's If you're a business owner, it's well worth it. But why does that matter? Because you come into what I call our circle of champions and you're surrounded by people who have also made a similar investment, but they're also up to big things, right? They're working on their fitness and their health. They're working on their purpose and spirituality. They're working on their marriage and their relationships. So they're present. And of course, they're building their business. They're learning how to really go from this producer to an owner. So know your value, know your worth. And if someone ever says you're not that valuable, just step back and say, is this someone I want to be around? Is this someone that I value their opinion? Most of the times, if no one values you, you're in the wrong place. This will make the biggest difference for you as you rise and as you become a game changer in your own life. Hey guys, if the podcast resonates, if it touches your heart and soul and it gives you greater vision and clarity to go build the life you want so you can make a difference inside of your world, your family's world, and the community itself, all I ask that you do is share the podcast forward. We don't run ads, we don't have sponsors, but we can make a difference and help people become game changers for their lives, for their families, if we share the message. So share this with somebody who needs to hear it and have an amazing day. Until next time, my friends, I appreciate you watching, listening, have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time. I'm out. Let's go. go, go, uh -huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, help you get your pen up. Want to be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win, yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.